Hello and welcome to module 10, basic router configuration, not switch. So today we are going to do basic router configuration. So when we're done, just make sure you uh, upload the whole packet tracer um, as homework. Okay, that's all you have to do for homework. So um, let's get started. Open up your packet tracer and grab a 1940 router. Put it right in here. We are going to need an end device. We'll grab actually two PCs, PC0, PC1. And let's go and go back to the network devices and click on switches and grab a 2960 switch in between. So we're going to create a LAN right in here. Uh, click on connections and get a straight through cable. Go over PC0, connect it to the fast Ethernet NIC and go to the switch and connect that to fast ethernet zero one grab another straight through cable over pc one fast ethernet zero go over to the switch zero two grab another one go over the switch choose fast ethernet three and connect that to the router gigabit zero slash zero the gigabit ethernet that's the default gateway for everyone that's attached to this switch. All right, so without further ado, let's go right into the router and configure this interface and do the basic configuration to the router. I know we, last time when we did this to the switch, we, we hooked up a console cable. In real life, that's exactly what you do. But right now, because we're doing it with packet tracer, I can just click on the packet tracer uh, on the router. This is the back of the router. And I'm going to click on CLI, the command line interface, and I'm already in there. So you don't have to get the console cable when you're working on the router. All right. And the first thing we're going to do, if you get this that says, do you want, uh, do you want to enter the initial configuration? Just say no. And oh, and hit enter, enter, and we are at the user mode. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to go into the privilege mode by typing en then i'm going to do config t to go into the global configuration mode all right the first thing we're going to do is disable the dns lookup so no ip domain lookup right if you remember that from when we did that on the switch that's going to make sure that if we're making any mistakes you know it's not going to look up the dns for the name and when that when that happens um you you will you'll you'll freeze up and you won't be able to type anything all right so let's configure the host name type the command host name capital r1 that's going to be our host name uh let's create a message of the day and the message of the day is going to be let's write banner let's create a login banner the difference between i know i wrote message of the day uh every time you log in now instead of for 24 hours so let's say authorized users only uh let's put a couple of question marks in there i mean explanation marks and close the quotes hit enter all right now let's do the passwords line console zero password let's call that cisco and let's do a login so what that does is if anybody tried to go in with the line console the console going through the console port they're going to be prompted the word login they're going to be prompted for a password when they type the password it'll be sent through the console port to the router and the router is going to authenticate you to make sure it's cisco if you don't type this word login you are not going to be able to, uh, the router will not prompt you uh, for a password all right, let's do E, which is configuring a secret password. That's by typing enable secrets, and let's call it Cisco one. Oops, I misspelled secret. All right, so that's when you type EN, get into the privilege mode. Now you need the password Cisco one. Let's do the line VTY zero to four. On a router, there's only five lines you can go in remotely. Zero, one, two, three, four. That's five of them. On the switch, there's 16 from zero to 15. 
So in this case, we want password to be Cisco2 and login. All right, now we secured all the lines, the console port, the VTY ports, and the enable password. All right, so let's encrypt the console and the VTY password by typing service space DASS and hit the tab key. Um, service didn't work. I put a question mark. Oh, I have to exit. Mm, see, it doesn't work. So she's showing that this the, the command service doesn't exist in this mode. So I have to type exit and I'll type service space question mark. And I see that the password encryption is there. So by, by the way, if you just type the letter P, because that's the only options that starts with the letter P and it would work. All right, so that's done. In uh, encrypt the pad, console and the VTY password. Let's show the running configuration. I'll type exit and I'll type show run. And if, hey, there's your password. Now let's go and double check and make sure that the console and the VTY passwords are encrypted. So excellent. Now we are going to save this configuration to the NVRAM. So hit the space bar for more, and then you type copy, space run, space start. Start. Enter, enter, and now we saved it in the NVRAM. All right, now we need to configure the default gateway right here, this interface, and we connected it to G00. So I'm going to go to Iron. I'm sorry, we're going to go to the config mode. Config T, and I'm going to go interface G0 slash 0. All right, and I'm going to give it the IP address 192.168.10.1 with a mask of slash 24, which means you have to put in three 255s. Dot zero, dot zero. We need to activate the interface by typing no shot. And the interface goes up. All right. So that's the default gateway. And all right. Now we want also, this is IPv4. By default, the router only processes IPv4 packets. If you send it an IPv6 packet, it will not work. So the only way to enable dual stacking, which means you are going to enable the router to process IPv6, in addition to IPv4, is you need to execute the following command. So exit out of this interface and type IPv6 space unicast dash routing. So by typing this command, now the router will, a will be able, now the router is running, will be able to process IPv6 packet. Now I can go to the interface G0 slash 0 and assign it an IPv6 address. So I'll just make one up. Type IPv6 add. So when, when I type, by the way, if you type IP add, that means it's going to be an IPv4 address automatically. But when you say IPv6 add, add is for address, you're going to type an IPv6 address. So let's assume the address is 2001 colon uh 8db colon acat colon it's going to be in subnet let's say three and do colon colon one slash 64 we'll talk about the addressing executive ip address later on um this semester but that's it now we are now it has g00 has a default gateway ipv4 which has the 192.168.10.1 and IPv6, which is the 2001 ADB ACAT3 number one. All right, now I can type exit and exit again. All right, if you do show run, let's double check again what we did. And there's my configuration, my IPv4, my IPv6. And you see the word shutdown under, under the gigabit zero zero? It's not there anymore because remember I typed no shut. Now the interface is active. 
All right. Now, since we made changes to the running config, I have to save it again. Copy, run, start, enter, enter. Excellent. So now the router is configured. Now I'm going to, you can close this actually. We are going to now go and configure the PCs. I'm going to go to PC1 and give it the IP address. Go to the desktop right in here and give it the static IP address 192.168.10.2. Remember, I give dot one to the default gateway. Tap, tap, you're done. Now, where IPv6, you don't have to do anything. You just go because it's going to do what's called um, Slack. I'm sorry, auto configuration, right? So just go from toggle from static to auto, and this should automatically be populated. All right, you can close this. Now let's go to PC1, do the same thing, and give it a different IP address. Give it a static IP and do the Slack for the IPv6. So let's give this 192. Dot one sixty eight dot ten dot three. They all have to have the same first three numbers, right? Hit the tap key and toggle between static and auto config for the IPv6. All right, hit enter. All right, now let's um let's go down here. We'll we'll do this in a, in a second. Let's go down here and check for connectivity. So click on PC one. I know we talked about ARP on the last module, so that's a good time to look at it. Uh, click on the command prompt, type ipconfig, and you'll notice your IP address. All right, now I want you to type ARP space dash A. Now, no entry in the ARP cache because it's empty. You have not spoken with anyone. All right, now I'm going to ping PC1. Ping 192.168. Dot ten dot three. All right, it responded. Now, if I type, if you hit the upper arrow key once, twice to repeat the command ARP dash A, and you see that that's the MAC address of who? 192.168.10.3. Right? That's his MAC address because he must have gave it to me an ARP reply. Right? Um, so you can you can do this with ipv6 as well now let's ping the default gateway uh ping 192.168.10.1 replies he must have gave me his mac address so i'll hit the upper arrow key twice and i see so the default gateway mac address is this pc1 mac address is this all right so that's proof that arp actually worked now remember see if you can remember these because i'm going to go into the router i'm sorry the mac address of this guy i'll go into the router and you'll see it first of all let's go to pc2 and verify that this is the mac address remember it ends with a088 so if i go to pc1 uh, the command prompt and i type ip con Big space slash all and i'll see the mac address 2a00 you see that right there the same mac address he must have gave it to me all right if i go to the router and you type the command um let's say show in show interface ip let's say show interface IPG0 slash zero. Oops. Did I type something wrong? Show, not interface IP, show IP interface. Show IP INT G0 slash zero. And let me see if this will show us the MAC addresses if I go up a little bit. I see here is the IP address. Okay, so we probably have to show into hit the space bar. I'm gonna so type show interfaces G0 slash zero. Let's see if this shows us. And where is did I type this command? 
Let me go up a little bit.